What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. Check it out, you see I got my little friend right here. Listen, this is Roma. Roma, tell them where you're from. I'm Roma from Princess Roma Adventures. Make sure to go subscribe and like my videos because they're very cool. Hey listen, she got a lot of flavor. You can see it, look, the personality, all of that. And check it out, and she can cook. So with that being said, we finna make some epic nachos. Okay guys, I know why you clicked on this video because you saw how delicious that thumbnail was. Let's get it. Hmm. Hey, you got it. Hey, you know what? I got to make sure you don't change your channel to my name. You know what I mean? Because you got it. All right, so look, this is the first thing we're going to do is, you guys can see, listen, we got a few ingredients right here, right? Look, got ground beef. You know, we got brown sugar. Everything that's set over here on this side is going to be what we use for the chili, right? And then, you know what? What would we be doing if we were going to be using a, like, store-bought, you know, tortilla, right? Yeah. We so we're going to go ahead and make our own. So real simple, folks. If you ain't never made it before, I'm going to show you how to make them. All right, so look, we're going to go ahead and cut these down, right? What, corn tortilla? Talk to me. How do you want to do them? Mm, let's do cross. Cross, okay. So here. And here. then the other way. Right? And then we take them, and we just stage them over here. Right? Yeah, let's keep doing that until we get a whole bunch of them, because okay, so, we want to make sure we got a big so, plate full of them. So look, I'm surprised you didn't tell me to just give me up myself a handful, right? Oh yeah. Huh. I didn't <laughs> think it would cut that easily. I forgot how easy those cut. They're oh, so no. fragile. There we go. What you oh, doing? Oh no, that's just? pretty good. Right? Okay, so look, we got these, you know, already cut, right? Don't these look like tortillas? Mm -hmm. Good enough? You know, we could cut them down like that and make them a little smaller. Yeah, maybe we can make a few smaller, but let's start off with the average size and let's I see like how what it you see right there. So, are all temperatures at what? Um, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be 355 or 50. That, it, that works. That works. Okay, so how are we going to put these in there? We're going to put them in with that little spider. Right. Thing. Are going to do it like that? That's the safe way. Me, I'm going to do it like this. I always like to test one, right? So, I'm going to go ahead and put it in like this. Oh, it's right. so good. Okay. Oh, no. So oh, we do one just to check. So now that we've done this sample one, right? Yep. Right? We're just going to go ahead and put Let's it in go. here. Let's go. Like, whoop. There you go. go. And you can hear it, though. You can hear it. they nice and crisp. Oh. Now yeah. that we have that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a little station so that you can take that out and then you can just, you know, set it up on the side. Okay. Okay. So Yeehaw. look, let me go ahead and put these in there. Now tell me why are we putting these in here one by one? Because we don't want them to actually stick together. Because like, if you put them all one stack, they might cook together, and then they'll be stuck, and you won't be able to like undo it because you might break <laughs> the chips. Let's make this chili. Okay, so look, what are we gonna do? We're gonna start with this. Yeah, we're gonna put this in here, and I'm gonna mash it up. All right. Okay, so look, now what we're gonna do? We're going to go ahead and get our garlic in for this meat, which is nice and brown and cooked. All right. Here you go, baby. All right, you can go ahead and just squeeze it just a little bit, twist it just a little bit until it stops. I got it from here. Okay. All right, look, I want you to notice this. This is garlic, it will burn super fast, right? Mm -hmm. So look, I'll kind of like sweep everything towards the middle. And right? put the garlic in the middle so it's not You already it. know. You already know. Okay, next we're gonna add in our cinnamon and our chili powder. Chili powder. Right, so if you don't mind, throw that in here. Yep. There you go. There. All right. And the cinnamon. Get that ready until you finish. Oops, come on. Yeah, I I'll tell you. Put it in. Mm -hmm. So okay. talk to him and tell me what's next. Okay, next, um, I think we're supposed to put in our tomato sauce. Okay, so the way you're reading it, and we want to tell everybody, the reason it's so simple for you and you just now coming in is because if we line our, you know, ingredients out in the row, we pull as we need them. We're going to add in our yellow mustard next. All right, so if you just hold it over there, I'm going to go ahead and just scoop it out. Uh, let's, look. okay, Somebody turn it back over. Listen, we use the right tool for the job, right? So I got a little small spatula. So yep. I take this. Oh, that's perfect. You know why? Because we did a measurement. Yep. Right? So mm -hmm. look like you left. This would have been like leaving about a, a half a teaspoon, but we need it all. One down. One more to go. One more to go. 
feel like I'm rolling ice cream when you scoop it. Mm. Now look, you know I ain't had no gloves on this whole time, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna put them on just right now for this right here. And don't get this in your eyes, cause it will bite. Okay, Roma, what's next? Okay, so I am going to start by putting this in the center. Look how we want to do it. Right, you do your side, I'm gonna do it. I'm making my nice Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm oh, sorry. wow. Look, oh, and I'm wow. doing it. Okay, so you did a great job right here getting this like this. So what's the next thing we're gonna do? You wanna go ahead and put some of this chili on there? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so I'll take this. Get the chili. And I'm just gonna sprinkle it on here like this. I'm not gonna oh, use all of it. Hey, so after you guys looked at all of that and you seen how we decorated it, you know what I mean? Uh, really, it's about the presentation. I say decorate like we're doing a Christmas tree or something like that. But listen, you know, all I can say is, listen, she was a great help. Thank you for being, oh, excuse me. Thank you for letting me be your sous chef. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, Roma, you did, thank you. you did your thing right here. So, only thing left to do, so we're not over talking it is what? Taste test. Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna take this one right here. I'm gonna take this one. Oh, it's chunky. Look at that. Hey, you know, I like to always touch the food one time. We ain't did nothing. Okay. We're just going to say cheers, yep. and we're going to eat. Cheers. Hey, so look, I guess the proof is in the pudding, right? Or should <laughs> I say the proof is in the nachos? Yeah. Or the lack of. We ate all you guys that. have, uh, hey, you know what? That makes, that should make me, come on. That should make me and you feel good. They ate it. Yeah, they we ate it. a lot. We asked everybody to stop so that we could have something to talk about and have something in front of us. All right, so now, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. That's right. And then how do I leave all of my videos? All right, folks, thanks for watching. The recipe is in the link box in the description down below. <laughs> we out, y'all. Peace.